All right, there we go. We're playing Sticker Star. No, we're playing Color Splash. That's what this game is. Was that a Freudian slip? I don't know. All right. Just to finish my thought, uh, I knew the audio wouldn't be perfect in this stream and the next couple streams, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to like let that stop me from streaming because I know like if I go too long without streaming, I would just never do it again. <laughs> I don't want to internalize the idea that I can't stream anymore because I started working. Everyone be quiet. I gotta watch the movie. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> I am optimistic. <laughs> Much more optimistic than chat, clearly. I can't believe Peach became a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> He's dead. I like how, like in the context of this world, that's just the equivalent of carrying a corpse to your friend's house. Wait, that, that's where the title card is? Whoa, okay, I didn't expect that. Yeah, we're actually playing Color Splash. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to like an upbeat, lighthearted adventure. Uh, I gotta put a delay on my mic before I forget. I, I honestly can't believe I remembered, but there we go. Now we're synced with the game. I think this is deliberately reminiscent of a uh, of Rogueport right here. But the parts I've seen have been eh. I've heard the dialogue and the sense of humor is really on point, so here's hoping. Really quiet. Where is everybody? There she is. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to be a little tourist destination. It seems quiet, don't you think? I even let them know we were coming. You'd think they'd prepare a warmer welcome for Princess Peach and the world-famous Mario. You look like a used gum wrapper. Iron yourself out, man. Wow. I'm in pain here. Help! <laughs> Don't just watch. Oh, you have to press A. Okay. There he is. <laughs> the titular paper man. <laughs> we don't need to white paint this early. I just can't bear to think about what I'm really holding. A folded up colorless toad. The only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. In the other Paper Mario games, did they like ever explicitly say that they were made of paper? I feel like they were much more like obtuse about it. We'll want to head to Prisma Fountain in the center of town. It's a big tourist attraction. From there, maybe we'll run into some locals who can help us. Was sent a corpse as a warning? Exactly. So, for some reason that reminds me, I'm going into this kind of spoiler free, but not really. <laughs> In fact, not really at all. Um, I know what the final boss is, just as an example. I know what a lot of the bosses are, so. Uh, but I think the fun will be in just uh, in the adventure. At least I hope so. Is it a war crime? Uh, kind of sounds like one. I don't know if... I don't know if the Mushroom Kingdom has, like, a, G a Geneva's Convention, you know? We don't have our hammer yet, I don't think. I'm gonna... Already the controls are kind of weird. <laughs> now we're talking. It looks like there's something up on that box. Think you can jump up there and check it out, Mario? 
There's some trash on top of that box, Mario. Why don't you go grab it for some reason? Thanks, Toad. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh my god. Why is this happening? Stop. There, god. Got a hammer. At the start of Paper Mario 2, he already had his hammer. Continuity. I bet it works just like your old one. Try pressing B to swing it. Oh, at least they referenced the old one. Okay, continuity. Let's go. Whoa. I I killed Peach. Don't make me take that hammer away from you because I will, mister. Oh, did, oh, did they really? I missed that completely. Ow, do I look like a crate to you? Oh, there we go. We're doing great right now. <laughs> we got our hammer. We got Peach and Toad with us. We're killing it right now. Sorry, Crate. You gave us no choice. Alright. I don't like how we, like, fold up every time we jump. <laughs> it's distracting. Yeah, I was curious if there was any music. I have my volume very low so that it doesn't echo in the mic. But, uh, now oh, here we go. Now I can hear a little bit. Where's the noose? Wow, this is a real ghost town. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain? According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. If this were the old games, they would use Toadsworth and not just a generic Toad. <laughs> People have talked about that before though how the new paper mario games have like generic toads instead of in the old games where they had like different looking ones that are more distinct and interesting some kind of device just rose out of the fountain maybe you should take a closer look at it i'm gonna look around first don't mind me flesh <laughs> you know that thought did occur to me too I can't believe they're just body parts just flying through the air. That's messed up. The only Mario characters are Mario, Peach, Bowser, and Toad. What about Luigi? I actually don't think Luigi's in this game. I bet he is. They wouldn't make a like a modern Mario game with no Luigi. That'd be crazy. Yo, what? Does that mean the world is made of skin? <laughs> Mario screams where he does not know. Activate these three switches hidden in the plaza. Pull and jump? Okay. We got puzzles already. What is pull, I wonder? Are there stickers in this game? There better fucking not be. I don't want to see a single sticker in this entire adventure. So help me God. If I see one sticker, it's over. Oh, that's, that's kind of weird. I hit like the top of the, the tree. I think I've got it. Come talk to me, I think I'm onto something. Hand holding in my video games? Before marriage? Find something yellow to pull? Okay. The first boss is a sticker. Please no.
All right, maybe to jump into something red, I suppose. Okay, gotcha. Maybe this thing. I know what I'm doing, Peach. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Red jump. Oh. I did it. You know, we're actually playing this at a great time because right now there are rumors, like very prominent rumors, that there's going to be like a classic Paper Mario game this year, which is nutty. I'm not getting my hopes up too high, but it's it's interesting at least. Is that a paint can? What is he made of? I don't recognize this material. Huey. You don't look like you're from around here, so I'll forgive that comment. I am so much more than a regular paint can. Now that I'm awake, you want to grab a burger or something? You're a treat. Okay. This is my friend Mario. Oof. Friend zoned. <laughs> he jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. <laughs> this dialogue is already out there compared to the old Paper Mario games. I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> Jesus. I can't believe Toad fucking died. He might be hurt or in trouble. That sounded like Toad. Which Toad? <laughs> no! Stop it. It's not consensual. And Toad is getting drank. No! I can't feel my pants. Kirby felt the land and said, this feels like pants. Whoa, whoa. You got a bunch of cards. No. I can't believe we just, wa just stood there and watched that happen. That's messed up. That guy suck. I like that he's using a bendy straw. That's a nice touch. Toad is fucking dead. <laughs> Poor Toad. What are you waiting for, Mario? He uses battle cards on this sucker. Wow, okay, paint can guy. Now is not a good time for puns, alright? He just killed a man. Do you even have any paint, Mario? Uh... I can smell paint from a mile away. Hold on, shy guy. <laughs> Give us a minute. Just press A to give me a squeeze. Don't be shy now. I'm into it. Let's go.
I'm so light and airy. Is this what you paper for? Oh, he made, I didn't even notice. He's made a paper now. <laughs> the paint you just absorbed is basically my blood, sweat, and tears. You'll have time to shower later. Use that paint to power up those battle cards and friend, your friend gave you. And then use the battle cards to plaster this introverted assassin. Put that straw in a very unfortunate spot. Yeah, like right now, while we're looking away. Hey, so we're just gonna go ahead and attack you now. I mean, if that's cool. <laughs> oh, that was a shy guy saying that, not the pink can. Okay, gotcha. That's definitely not cool. And since when are there three of you? Since when do shy guys talk? Is that the first dialogue box a shy guy has ever had? No, I think in like Mario Party 4, I bet they had dialogue boxes. You have no idea what to do, do you? No worries, Uncle Huey's here to give you a primer. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm holding a gamepad, aren't I? Hmm. <laughs> I'll read what he's saying to you. So here are all the cards you got from Toad. They're called battle cards for obvious reasons. Each one lets you perform an action in battle. The pictures, on, the pictures on the cards should give you a general idea. For example, look at this one. It has two boots on it. That means this card will let you use a jump attack two times. The number of icons on the card shows the number of attacks. So just for context, we have like five cards that only have one boot on them. And then there's one card that has two. This big old boot here will let you do one super powerful jump attack. The bigger the icon, the stronger the attack. Simple, right? Yeah, this is awful. Thank you. It's so cute that you're trying. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that big card and drag it to the spot. Okay. I'm gonna drag a normal jump card, I think. Is this your first battle? <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. Alright, are we doing it? Card ready. What do I do now? Oh. Touch the paint. You can add a paint to the card you've selected. Just touch the card with your finger to paint. The more you paint it, the stronger it will be. What? Oh, what? Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> paint as much or as little as you like, and then tap Done Painting. Mario about to exhilarate these bitches. <laughs> I'm not even reading what the shy guys are saying, because I'm looking at the gamepad. Passion commands are for losers. This guy needs to go. When do I start looking at the TV? <laughs> There's like 15 different prompts that are like, okay, press the card. Okay, now that you've pressed the card, you can press ready. Okay, now that you've pressed ready, you can press the card again. Like, I keep looking at the screen ready to like do an action command, and now Huey's saying, when you're, ready to, when you're ready to play the card, just flick it upward to start the fight. Flick it upward? Fight. Alright, now here's where the action really heats up. Press A at the critical point of an attack to increase the damage you do. Okay, yeah, we know this. If you time your attacks well, you can do up to five jumps. That's a whole lot of just stomping. I thought we could only do one. Tap the gamepad? No, I'm not doing that, thanks. I feel like I missed that. They're gonna attack you. But you don't have to just sit there and take it, Mario. You can defend yourself. It's the law. Press A right before an enemy attacks you to block. How about super guarding? No? Okay. Too bad. Three damage. Wow. I guess you could, like, half paint a card if you wanted to. You have to press A button, like, pretty, pretty early, compared to what you would expect. Oh, I forgot to paint it. Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Are we doing damage or aren't we? Weird. I just noticed we're not doing numbers. Card ready. Okay, this time we'll paint it. Do we get numbers this time? You did no damage, but you did take color. 
Do we just not do damage? <laughs> Color me impressed. You're a natural, kid. Poor Toad. A moment of silence, please. How about that burger? Studio laughter. Don't worry about Toad there. He'll be fine. Walk it off, bud. <laughs> Maybe he's in rougher shape than I thought. But no worries. He just needs a fresh coat of paint and he'll be as good as new. You can revive him with paint? That'd be a miracle. He won't come back as some kind of freaky zombie toad, right? No, ma'am. He'll be the same toad he's always been. That's the power of paint. How do we know that? What if he's just a clone? What if he's an android? With all the claws of the rainbow, press X to give it a swing. Aim for the pasty friend here. Okay. So not this, but this. Is there even damage numbers? Yeah, I don't know. Which is weird to think about. And I can feel my pants. Yeah! <laughs> we could hardly recognize you. I, I couldn't recognize you anyway, because you look the same as the rest of your race. Sorry, I didn't mean to be racist. If you want to keep on painting the world around you, you're going to have to re resupply from time to time. So this can here just saved my life. I knew all that recycling would pay off one day. Just in case we get ambushed by any more freaks with bendy straws. Where exactly are we supposed to find this magical life-giving paint you speak of? <laughs> We've got six big paint stars hooked up to that thing. And they'll put out as much paint as you like. I mean, paint pretty much flies out of everything around here. Try hitting stuff with your hammer, you'll see what I mean. The big paint stars, I like that. <laughs> I was a little worried because the fountain looked completely dry when we woke you up. So I guess we just needed to turn it on or something? It was definitely dry when we got here. Our big paint stars could never run dry. Come on, I'll show you. There's another colorless figure over there. We can't just leave him like that. What should we do? Should I look around first? We're just going to abandon that poor colorless soul over there? That's not the Mario I know. Alright, I'll allow it. Welcome to Prisma Cardwa. I was surrounded by a bunch of thirsty shy guys. Hmm. There's no way Mario would come all the way out to Prism Island. What are you, some sort of Mario impersonator or something? How much do you make for a gig like this? Eight, nine coins an hour? <laughs> okay, there's a shop here. Apparently. Thanks, friend. Your action command game is looking a little sketchy. Excuse you? Or we could just hang out and watch movies or whatever. I've got surround sound. It won't be weird. <laughs> this dialogue is very different from anything I've seen in a Mario game. <laughs> nice, 69 coins. We'll check out the dojo house later, I guess. I wonder if me and Boyle will finally let them make different looking toads in the new game. The guy who used to design like interesting looking toads, Miyamoto locked him up years ago. Don't cry, paint can. Maybe we could help you find the uh, big paint stars. Port Prisma without big paint stars is like a tuna fish sandwich without ketchup. <laughs> First of all, I don't really understand that analogy. And secondly, gross. Those big paint stars do seem really important to you, and you did just save my life. So those are the MacGuffins in this game. Okay, got it. It smells like a paint star. 
Oh. <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't have noticed that sooner. That's a good point. He's right, we definitely owe him a favor. And besides, I have a feeling that this is our related... I have a feeling that this is related to our mystery. The poor toad who was mailed to us. Can we fix him now? <laughs> Are we just gonna leave him? <laughs> Mr. Ken is my father. You can call me Huey. Thank you for the help, guys. It means a lot. Alright, let's go get that big paint star. I would have stuck myself into your pocket. Okay, thanks. If you want to chat, just press up to summon me. It's easier and less painful than hitting me with a hammer. I know this sounds like the back of my can, so don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, gotcha. May you stay crisp in the face of crumpling adversity. Did Peach just heal us with, like, praying? Okay. I can help flatten you out and restore your HP. I'm not going to question it. So I can just... Cool. If I had my own hammer, I could have tried hitting some of the flowers or trees around here to restore myself. If I had my own hammer, and if I had been conscious. Poor Prisma is so rich in color that paint comes bursting out of just about everything you see. Try it for yourself, you won't hurt anything. I'm gonna get mixed up with like the hammer button and the paint hammer button. So if you want to just get paint, you can do this, I guess. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. I like how they look all goopy. <laughs> Technically, if you think about it, right now we're grinding. Because you use coins to buy attacks, and that's really the only way you can level up in this game is by getting cards. I hope that in later areas, you, uh, like, if you paint something, it stays painted when you return. That would be nice. I am not gonna feel like redoing this later. Also, like, is it really hard to, like, paint the entire thing in one hammer, or am I just bad at this? Weird. Green paint? But we don't have a green category. How much is in here? <laughs> Is there infinite? Weird. I imagine green just becomes like blue and also yellow. So I noticed since we're making like an orange color, it's using up our red and also our yellow, which is kind of in interesting. I should probably stop using it now because we're running out. World map? What? I shouldn't need that, I don't think. Oh, save block. Hit it to save your progress. You want to learn about saving? Okay, gotcha. There's the shop, I guess. I guess in this game's case, it makes like a little more sense that all the toads look the same because like, since they're playing colors, like, you can just use your hammer to paint them back, and it's pretty clear what colors you always need. I don't know. I'm no expert on bridge repairs, but I am an expert on bridge experts, and we're definitely going to need one. <laughs> A bridge expert would be nice right about now. Don't we have one here in poor Prisma? We usually do, but he's out of town somewhere doing something. Somewhere? Something? I thought you said you were an expert on bridge experts. Alright, cool. If you're lost or not sure what to do... Yeah, okay, gotcha. You called? If you see any poor toads who have been drained of their color, just repaint them with your hammer. Okay. Get some yellow, get some, some purple, I guess.
You can't open a door if it isn't painted properly. <laughs> Won't work right until you restore that color, so don't be stingy with that paint hammer. Okay, gotcha. Goom. I mean, boom. I waited all day just to say that, and I totally blew it. We're fighting, we're fighting a Goomba now. Uh, I don't like the battle system in these games. So this worn out jump card is already colored, which is interesting. You can't paint it anymore. So some of the cards we get will already be painted, I guess. It's interesting. We are straight up not doing damage. They just kind of die. <laughs> I never noticed that when I watched like gameplay of this game. If you collect enough of these, you'll be able to store more paint in your paint hammer. Enemies sometimes drop them after battle, so pick them up before they disappear. What? They're like a permanent upgrade, but they can go away? Weird. I don't think they're permanent. I lost the first Goomba, just like a grandma. <laughs> Thanks for repainting me. This is the blue district. Or, well, it used to be. Who knows how much paint those suckers have stolen by now. Good luck tracking them down. I'm not gonna lie. If I wasn't streaming, I don't know if I'd be into this. <laughs> the dialogue is funny, but, uh... The pacing is slow so far, and... I just don't like the battle mechanics. But we'll stick it out. At least for a little bit. Usually there's water flowing here, making the wheel spin around and look super cool. Now it's just sitting there looking moderately cool. That's not cool enough. <laughs> this water wheel is, my, is the best. It's easily in my top 500 favorite water wheels. They are really padding this. Not only are, are they padding it a little bit, they're also like... They're laying on their new sense of humor very thickly. I don't think thickly is a word, but... They're laying it on pretty thick with the, the sense of humor early on. I'm not opposed to it necessarily, it's just very different. <laughs> what the scrap? Why isn't the wheel spinning? Say goodbye with your top 500 status, you lazy water wheel. What a strange game. I feel like this game is just, like, what if it's just a, a medium for them to make dumb jokes? Not that the jokes are, like, bad. We got a hammer, we got a jump. I can't wait until we're full on cards and then I have to, like, do inventory management every five seconds. You want to hear a juicy secret? Just come a little closer. That's it. Slurp. Where'd my straw go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Oh, so it previews, like it shows you how much paint it will use if you use that card. So this jump card uses a lot of paint for some reason. That's kind of strange. I would love to just flee, since that's like the optimal thing to do, because then we don't use any paint, but we get dialogue if we do these battles, I guess, so. I wish I knew, I wish I knew how much damage I was doing. <laughs> it's like TF2, you can go into settings, and you can go into your settings and then turn on the damage if you want to. I wear a mask because I'm afraid to put myself out there. Well, that's sad. Now you're dead. I got more paint, though. That's cool. Ooh, there's like rainbow juice in here. There you go. It's a lot of paint. So I'm guessing you just get paint 
a lot if you explore the world enough. Also, does this have an unlimited paint? This seems kind of unlimited. Are trash cans just like infinite paint sources? That's weird. Okay, well, I'll take it. I thought paint was supposed to be like a, a scarce resource. I guess not. The stairs leading up to the paint star are behind this door thing. This isn't a survival horror game, but what if it was? I've never seen this door before. It must be new. I'm just going to leave that there. A gang of shy guys with straws were roaming around Port Prisma, stealing everyone's paint. As the last line of defense that activated the emergency TP system here. <laughs> no, I just noticed. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There's no way we can use this much TP, and I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> how much do I need to paint, you think? My masterpiece. I can't jump and hammer, can I? No. I feel like I'm using all my paint for this. How much do I have to paint? Oh, it all went away. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to end up having to fight the enemies just to get them out of the way. You know what I mean? Because I can't really do anything here if there's just, like, enemies walking around. Okay, well, I painted that one. I painted that jump card for you. What if you didn't paint? <laughs> Can you beat Paper Mario Color Splash without painting anything? Okay, oh, that increased our max quite a bit, no? That's like a 50% increase. Alrighty then. Oh, yeah, I guess we could do that. I guess. <laughs> it was a good idea, but it doesn't appear to be working. I'm thinking we probably just need to, like, paint some things around here, like this toad. So is everything done? Have you repainted everything? Defeated the bad guys? Saved the good guys? What do you mean, no? Get to work, buddy. What happens if you come back here at the end of the game? <laughs> There's no way they change it. But that'd be really cool if they did. <laughs> like, if you just save that guy for way later. Don't save him until the end of the game. At least you transition in and out of battle pretty quickly. It's probably like a little faster than TTYD. So that's cool. Of course, it's speeding up the process in which I go into the battle system, which I don't like that much. So I don't know if that's a good thing. It's just like, oh boy, here we go. You're fighting now. Get ready. At least this way we get it over with quickly. Where am I? Oh, right, I'm in the yellow district. I thought I could camouflage myself by standing against the yellow walls, but they still got me. Now that I have a new lease on life, I'm going to take more risks. I've always wanted to try cordless bungee jumping. <laughs> oh, dear. He just died. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this game? <laughs> what if, like, that alone was in TTYD? Like, everything else is the same, but there's this one toad where if you talk to him, he just jumps off a cliff randomly. It's gonna be a shy guy, pretending to be a toad. Did you hear that squeaky, annoying voice? I totally crushed that toad impression. I just remembered, the toads talked in uh, Paper Mario 1, didn't they? So I was wrong earlier. Oh, the, there's descriptions of all the cards here. We can hold 99 cards, apparently. We have 18. Great. 
great. <laughs> Dang, you really are a hero. So, Mario in here, help me. So they heard from Sticker Star that people didn't like fighting because there was literally no reason to do it. So now they incentivize you to do it by just giving you a bunch of dialogue by doing all the fights. What were you expecting? Yeah, the Shy Guy lost and, and yeah. I think the other Toads talk too in Paper Mario 1. As you're no doubt aware, we've been dealing with an invasion of paint-stealing hooligans. Anyhow, if things had gone as planned, this would have been your quest quarters, or guest quarters, whoops. What if this took place in Delfino Plaza instead? Like this was the Paper Mario version of Delfino Plaza, and you could talk to Piantas and stuff. I offer you a belated welcome to our humble town. I'm sure you must be tired from your long voyage, so please feel free to rest in these quarters anytime. Thank you, Purple Toad. <laughs> we are a bit tired after all this excitement, so we will take you up on that. How come that Toad gets special privilege? He looks the same as the rest. Or if you just need some good old-fashioned encouragement. Go, Mario. Wow, what a good friend. Just a friend. I would talk about work, since this is my first week at work, but like, there's a lot of dialogue happening. What the fuck? If I do first strikes, do I like not have to use a... Oh. I don't think I have any multi-hits. Unless it like automatically goes to the next Goomba if I kill them. That would be neat. I am a bit tired of being stomped. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure if this game's sense of humor would have translated well for like, not translated well, that's not what I'm trying to say. I don't know if kids would get the sense of humor in this game. I know like I wouldn't have when I was younger. Which is fine. It gives Older players, something to appreciate, I guess. Oh, Peel. That kind of looks like a sticker, but I'll give you benefit of the doubt this time. I'll allow it this one time. So it just stays that way until... <laughs> Weird. All right. Does it like go through, so like purple, now blue, green, yellow, oh, well there you go, it, it goes through the rainbow. <laughs> now we know. I could have figured that out sooner, but can we paint these stairs? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, that raises a good question. What if something is just white? He's so focused on stealing paint that he hasn't even noticed us approaching. I bet that's why the wheel isn't spinning. He's taking the color right out of the water. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Ooh. Go, Mario. Oh, I have mushroom cards here, too. Weird. I guess we can use our hammer instead. How do we do this? Just press A at the right time? Oh, okay. <laughs> we 
we fix the water wheel. Our TP, oh no. You did it, Mario. You rolled up the toilet paper. I bet you never thought you'd be con congratulated for that. Oh, this is neat. There we go, we colored to the green. Alright, we're gonna move on now. I think we can end the stream after we get the first big paint star, right? It's already pretty late. I'll try to start sooner. In future streams. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about work. I think that, like, the way I wanna do it, honestly, is, like, do it on a schedule. Like, maybe on Monday and Thursday we do streams. But honestly, like, in practice, it might be, be it might be better to just, like, do it when I feel like it. This isn't a big paint star after all. It's much too small. This is a mini paint star. <laughs> Not to worry, this is a good sign. Mini paint stars are kind of like baby big paint stars, so we must be on the right track. Mini paint stars will always lead to big paint stars, and big paint stars will lead to my beautiful fountain being restored to its former glory. And is it the Koopalings? Is it Bowser Jr.? Is it Kamek? <laughs> is that a toad? <laughs> That airship is making off with a huge bucket of paint. Did they steal all that from poor Prisma? Grab this red mini paint star and let's get moving. Alright. Gotcha, Chief. So there are MacGuffins, but then there are mini MacGuffins as well? Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa! <laughs> what we're hearing is we saved the town for nothing. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's neat. I mean, I overall, I hate the fact that this game has a world map, but... <laughs> Poor Prisma. 42%. Oh, no! Does this mean, like, if we go back here, we have to redo all the dialogue and stuff? I hope not. Talk. I'm your friendly neighborhood guide toad. Did you know you can open up a map of Port Prisma by touching blah on the gamepad? And I'm pretty good at directions, maybe I can help you find something. I think we're good. I think, I think we can just explore freely. Yeah, okay. That's good. Paint everything. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I think that that part of the game might actually be fun. <laughs> Ironically, the part where you just run around hammering everything might be fun. <laughs> for completionist's sake. This needs to be painted. Yep, get that. You have a sticker on the back of your head. Sir. You know, I've had a cookie sitting here for like an hour. I'm gonna eat it now. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the cookie was here. Oh! It's this guy. <laughs> I like that Peach just left him here. It's a chocolate chip cookie. It's like a soft, chewy kind. 
It's not Chips Ahoy, however. I got them from Walmart. good but they hurt my teeth feels bad these ones don't seem to hurt so that's good We're gonna get a lot of coins. Sorry for the noise. They really did destroy our beautiful Prisma Fountain. But now that you're here, Mario, everything's going to be alright. Please save us from a lifetime of crushing despair and sadness. No pressure. Welcome to the Red District, by the way. What's the Bojangle status over there? Okay. I'm glad you asked. So. Uh, when I was looking at apartments, right, I, I weighed how close they were to Bojangles. There was one apartment that was, um, it was actually fine. Um, but it was the cheapest out of all the ones I looked at. But overall, it was still fine. You know, would have been perfectly serviceable in college. But it was just a little further away from, from work. But the thing was, it was right next to Bojangles. It was like three minutes away. I was so tempted, but I decided not to do it. Uh, so the apartment I chose is still pretty close to Bojangles. But here's the thing. I've gone to Bojangles, I think, three times since I've arrived. And honestly, all three times have been pretty disappointing. My food was not hot. Distinctly not hot. It's very sad. My fries were kind of, like, plain. It wasn't good. The chicken wasn't cold, but it... I don't know. There was there was some heat in the chicken, but it wasn't... It, it didn't blow me away. So, I don't know. I'm kind of falling out of love with Bojangles, because I keep having disappointing experiences with them. I've talked about before how, like, Bojangles has, like, the greatest, like, variation of fast food places, where, like... You can go there and it will be like the best thing ever if it's fresh food. But if it's not fresh food, it just kind of sucks. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what the situation is with Bojangles. But you know what though? I am extremely close to Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is like a sub sandwich place in case you don't know. So that's like right down the street. That's like two or three minutes away. It's extremely close. So I might start going there instead. There's a Jersey Mike's a short drive from my place. I've never tried it. It's definitely worth trying. It's like one of the more, it's, I think it's the most expensive sandwich place I've gone to. Like sandwich chain or sub chain, I guess you could say. But their food is good. They have really good meatball subs, and they have good, like, you know, just turkey and cheese subs. I've had it, like, once. It was pretty good. The best thing about Jersey Mike's is um, on their soda tap, they have this this type of soda. It's like, it's like a vanilla cream soda, but it's really freaking good, and I can't find it anywhere else. Like, if you go to Jersey Mike's, they, like, advertise the fact that they have this or these two types of sodas on their tap because they're so good. So if you go to Bojangles, definitely, definitely try the vanilla cream soda. That's my take. All right, wait, did, it, did I say Bojangles or Jersey Mike's? Shit. I 
I think we've painted just about everything. You said Bojangles? At least I caught myself. <laughs> I probably said it more than once in that conversation, though. <laughs> I'm the Commander-in-Chief of the Rescue Squad Coalition. The rescue squads were formed to help those in need across the land. As the leader of the Coalition, it's my job to keep tabs on each squad. Let me know if you can find... Let me know if I can help you find any of the Rescue Squad members. Look, man, I'm sorry. I always have Bojangles on my mind. I can't help it. It's a real problem. But yeah, I was saying I might end up going to Jersey Mike's more than Bojangles. Can I break these again? Oh, they have paint now. Okay, that's cool. I feel like I painted just about everything. Would you like to leave? <laughs> Although, you know what? There might be other stuff that's like across that bridge that we can't do yet, so... That's probably what's going on here. All right, I'm, I'm guessing if we just quit back to the world map, it will save for us. That's my hope. Definitely let me know if you try, or <laughs> let me know if you try Jersey Mike's. I almost had Bojangles again. All right, well, um, did I get them mixed up again? Whatever, it's it's clearly, it's it's time to stop. We'll do Ruddy Road next time. <laughs> I don't know how many of these, like, levels there are, but I don't know if we just keep doing a bunch of short streams. I don't know, maybe we'll just do, like, 30 one-hour-long streams for this. That would work. Thank you so much for joining me, Flynn, number rat, Ian, everyone else that was here. Appreciate you. Uh, I'll try to edit the Faye thing tonight and I'll put it up hopefully uh, but yeah have a good night happy birthday Flynn it's definitely belated but congratulations on 25 alright I'm gonna head out have a good night